Hey, I'm Sadio Gracia, you're here at Seattle 2013 and um, basically 2013 is going to be for me racing, uh, Daniel racing, World Cups and uh, putting my foot into Enduro as well because in Europe basically that's where we're going and uh, we're developing some product as well with a couple of new sponsors with Lead, like basically we're making uh, like hydration pack and uh, you know they're really well known for uh, neck breasts but they do like really sick um, knee pads and elbow pads now that I'm using as well this year uh, welcoming uh, Wild Wolf as one of the it's a drinking sponsor from Spain has a new sponsor of the team and uh, Brigade is going to have two riders this year Brian Henier as well a French guy who's going to race Enduro and Mass Start Enduro racing and uh, myself into like I say down in an Enduro and yeah Santa Cruz, the big boys, you know, uh, uh, they've been up there since the last four years and keeping with those guys as well. Kenny, Kenny racing for closing and uh, we're de developing our own line right now. And uh, no, a lot of things are going good. Aero helmet, basically signed this year with Aero, new helmet coming for enduro riding as well. And uh, I mean, they're really famous into motocross and uh, enduro racing in moto. And they came and uh, they want to work with me and we uh, I'm super proud because some of my mates like Taddy Blazuzia I got riding with them and Taddy is my neighbor and uh, he's awesome and it's good to be part of this uh, Italian family and yeah uh, so many new good things like Shimano so, you know step it up this year as well as a private team you know I'm really proud to ride the uh, Shimano products and like I say, too many good things and Panarasa tires and this, uh, so, so many good new sponsors. We, we're really proud at the Brigade to have like a small team private, but we definitely have the, the good, uh, good sponsor behind us and uh, that's, uh, that's for me the most important. We could choose what we wanted and with who we wanted to work and at the end of the day make a big difference. Well, racing Sierra is always, you know, like... For European people, it would be definitely exciting to come here, but we know we're not going to expect much about the track, you know, like the last 10 years I came here, same track, same dual slalom, same down, about the same time, we all have a blast because, you know, in the World Cup we all focus and everybody want to win, and here it's more like you can hang out with your mates, and even, the, you know, when it comes to the uh, the race, you know, you, uh, you want to beat them, doesn't matter the track, but it's fun, you can do practice with them, a lot of photographers on the track, you can pull some tricks and... Dual Slam, it's good because we, that's the only event we race a year, the Dual Slam at Seattle, and uh, definitely some good racing, you know, head to head, it's awesome. And uh, yeah, it's good, like being European and come to America, like I really love America. America for me, it's a really good playground, it's opportunity, opportunity to, you know, to do what you want. Basically, it's America, uh, it's a hope for a lot of people, and that's what I like about America, and um, especially here in California as well. Like, I'm into motorcycle and GP and stuff coming here, it's uh, it's cool, you know, like I can say I've been, in, I, I did the, the full lap of the track on my bike as well, I definitely look slower than Rossi, but, <laughs> but no, it's good, it's good, good atmosphere, you can see all your fans, like basically American guys, you know, we don't see them often, we don't have many races in the US, then for me it's a good opportunity to spend some time with my, my fans and the people who follow me on Facebook and Twitter and, uh, and there was those guys was behind me when I was on the, in the hospital for a month, you know, like when I was in the in my own hall. Then uh, it's got it's good to see them, and uh, now it's America. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> my 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 accident basically almost went the last accident in my life. Basically lost, got a mechanical problem. Let's put it that way, and. Uh, couldn't stop the bike in a World Cup in Val du Sol in a really steep part and all of a sudden I couldn't stop then uh, uh, went and crash and crash uh, into a, I basically tumble tumble like a uh, couple of times and land on the stump and basically when I saw the stump I was supposed to land on my back and uh, I decided to grab my legs and then on the left and I just shattered my pelvis in 40 pieces and then at the time I didn't know and and I uh, cut as well, uh, like um, 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 arteria, and all the blood was leaking. They couldn't fix it, and almost passed away. Two nights in a row, made after two nights, and uh, get evacuated to Europe, private jet, thanks thanks to the insurance. And uh, yeah, since from that, 
<laughs> from that on, I just uh, I just recover, and uh, you know, you know what it is, you know, like big accident. It's always like this. You stay months in the hospital. You just want to get back up there, even if it hurts. Like, uh, but yeah, it was pretty close this time. But yeah, they, they told me they could maybe not fix it, and then I could I couldn't maybe ride the bike again. And after four months, I proved them the. <laughs> That was wrong because I went to do a race and I won. Then I was awesome. And when, especially when the doctor told me it would take me a year and two months to be able to walk normally. A month, a year and two months. It's nine months today, I think. And I'm running. I'm running, I'm racing, and I'm winning some races. That's awesome. Now it's good. It's good, but I was in a bad position for a while because when you don't know, you know, when the doctors tell you all this stuff, you know, like, I still have some scars, massive. But if I didn't have this, I would have a lot more problems. <laughs> because when I when I land when I I hit two trees before, and when I land, when I hit the first tree, basically I took the tree sideways like this, and it went straight to the leaf. My helmet went like this. Well, I went head toe head toe first. Then my head was going left and right, but always was limited by the brace. Then it was good nothing happened to the neck perfect but when I went into the tree I just the tree was when just there I remember I still have woods and stuff and I kept it at home and it's like just I just like break that little piece but the impact was so crazy I had the blue mark here but it was crazy that, that saved me big time because I would have a lot more to deal with a hip problem I probably have like a neck like giraffes like this I probably have to race like this now. No, no, that thing saved me big time. I don't want to hear any people's, oh, do you think that thing works? Yeah, well, <laughs> look at the footage of my crashes on my Facebook and you will see that the lead work for real. Yeah.